be you. Everybody else is taken. Welcome, this is Rujit Dave, and it is good to be with you guys again in this brand new year 2020. Think about it folks, I remember when I was in school, we used to have dreams about 2020. We used to have goals about 2020. People are talking about how India will become a superpower when we go into the year 2020. So I just want to make a point that time flies so fast. The last year was a phenomenal one for us. I got a chance to produce more than 40 videos during the time of the year and I use I tried my best to give at least one video a week this year also I'm planning to produce at least one video a week even if I'm not able to produce that I'm going to try my best to give you at least two videos per month which are of high quality they are going to be content specific and they are going to be very high value delivery Folks, I was just thinking that, you know, when I was growing up, when I was in my teens, I used to always think about how, and we, I used to always project on the year 2020. We used to, you know, dream of 2020 being as the year when the human civilization reaches a new pinnacle. We were thinking that we might have flying cars, that we might be an interplanetary species, you know, living off on moon or Mars. But look where we are. We are not yet an interplanetary species and certainly we don't have flying cars. Anyways, I just wanted to point out that time flies faster than you think. You might think that okay, I'm going to do this five years down the line. But you know what? Five years pass in a moment's time. You might even not be aware how fast the five years time passes. Therefore, you need to prioritize on your goals, prioritize on your dreams and start taking action on them. So the first video of 2020, it is going to be an interesting one. It is going to be an idea about you, the original you. Folks, some days back, I read a tweet by Naval Ravika, who is one of the most wise men out there and he is certainly one of my idols. He put out a tweet saying, if you want to be rewarded, you have to be irreplaceable. If you want to be irreplaceable, you have to be unique. If you want to be unique, you have to be authentic. If you want to be authentic, stop listening to everything and everyone out there. It's drowning you out. Now it really got me thinking. That man has got a point. He's saying that if you want to be authentic, if you want to be true to yourself, you need to stop listening to what everyone and everything else is saying. Guess what folks? You might not realize it yet, but your mind is being easily programmed by, by the information dementia that is going around. People through electronic media, social media are influencing your thoughts and emotions in such a way that you might not be aware. People waste hours of their time on social media, on electronic media, consuming content which is bad for their mental health. You might have, you might have encountered this yourself. If you find that you are spending too much time online, you will realize that you are being drawn into camps, you are being drawn into groups online. There is one against the other. There are there is all this political outrage going on. We divide, divide themselves into groups and try to break tussle in everything. So all the stuff that you consume on social media is drowning the real you inside. It is programming your mind in such a way that you lose thinking for yourself and you are fit into in you are fit into the group thing mentality, into the dogma driven ideology, and you are and you lose your faculty of free will. Or in this information driven world, we are faced with competition in every field. Whichever field you may choose for your career, you will find that there are already too many people already in that field, too many experts already in the field. Then you might think that, okay, if I join this too, how will I stand out? How will I become different from all those who are already there? Folks, the answer to that is, be your authentic self. It may sound easy, but it is not easy. You may, you know, to keep your own thoughts, you, you to keep your own ideology, to keep your own convictions standing in against of all this information wars, it's very difficult. But guess what? If you don't do it, 
you might get drawn into groups, you might get involved into groups and you may lose the reason of your free will. And guess what? Express yourself free. You know, stand for what you believe to be true. Most people when they are given a chance to express themselves, they don't express themselves fully. They try to be hideous. You know what? It happens with many speakers. People are giving a presentation, but you know, they only speak and they only present themselves in a way which they think that might please the audience. But guess what? The audience is smart too. They can see that you are not telling the absolute truth, that you are hiding certain facts. A more interesting anecdote that I heard about this phenomenon is of a flower. Let's say you go into a garden and you see there is a flower there. You know why you like flowers? You know why the human mind is naturally attracted to flowers? Because it blooms. The flower doesn't think, okay, let me hide this petal of mine, let me hide this uh, color of mine, I'm going to only show this petals. No, it doesn't do that. It blooms. It shows every single one of its petals, it shows every single one of its characteristics, and that why, and that is the precise reason why the human mind is naturally attracted to nature's beauty. This is a similar advice that we need to follow in our own lives. Don't try to hide certain aspects of your personality. Th those guys who are truly authentic always be those who are pretending to be. Develop your don't give a fuck muscle. When you develop that muscle, you don't give a damn about other people's opinion, other people's ideas, other people's labels and you can express yourself freely without any doubt, without any filters, without any censors and you can communicate your message in the way it is intended to be. With that short message, I would like to end this video. Here are my best wishes for the year 2020. And I would leave, like to leave you with an interesting tweet that I saw the other day on the Twitter. It says, Have a monk-like mentality for seeing the truth. A king-like mentality for prosperity. And a warrior-like mentality for chasing down your goals. That right there is the ultimate human experience. With best wishes, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Rajit Dave.